Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bray Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 on the PlayStation 5. So we played the previous Car Mechanic Simulator that came to the console, because there's been many versions, but only one that has been on the PlayStation. And we played that back when it came out in, I think, 2019? 2018 or 2019. Before shit hit the fan. Yeah, before all the COVID and all that. We had a really good time with that series, and it was really, really popular on our channel. So when we heard this was coming to uh, to console at the same time as it was coming to PC, I think the PC version came out one day prior, um, but around the same time. Uh, we definitely wanted to, to check out the sequel. Uh, before we get started, just to mention a couple stats for you guys. Uh, the game is $29.99 US dollars on the PlayStation Store. And although we are playing this on the PlayStation 5, there are no, it's not a PlayStation 5 version game. There's no special features for the PlayStation 5. It's for the PS4. Pro. Yeah, it says PS4 Pro on the on the store. So I think it plays better with the Pro, but you could probably play it on the regular PS4 as well. But no special features for the PS5, guys. Uh, not even like uh, better graphics or anything. Just basically what you'd get from putting any PS4 game inside of a, inside of the new console, just loading faster, I'd suppose. That's pretty much it. Which it does load a lot faster than the previous game, which did have some some yeah. longer loading. And this game loads pretty smoothly. Uh, also, a few things that you'll notice that weren't in the previous game is they have like t much better tutorials, and you can watch these little tutorial videos. I don't know if they had the videos in the last one, but I remember that the game was kind of difficult to get into yeah, on console. Yeah, it's a bit challenging figuring everything out at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to watch a couple videos, get some help from you guys in the comments. But now we're a lot more experienced since we played the previous game, so hopefully professional mechanics now. things should go much smoother. So yeah, we'll just call this Praetorian, because it should already be in here. Oh. Praetoria. There we go. And we're going to be playing on normal. So easy just makes everything easier. Uh, all parts, parts in the orders and missions are discovered, so you don't have to try and find the parts anymore. Uh, and it looks like you have a lot more money at the beginning as well. Then you have the normal mode, which is the way the game is designed to be played. You have the expert, which just makes it a lot more challenging, removing the descriptions and all the little outlines for the parts. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. No, but you do get double experience, so that's good. And then you have the sandbox mode, where you have unlimited money and scraps, and your garage starts out fully upgraded and all that kind of good stuff. Can't get any trophies with that mode, but I think that will be many people's preferred mode to play in. Uh, just relax. And pick some cars. Yeah, I, I would probably play in that off camera if I had to pick any any uh, mode. But for this series, since it is a let's play, we're just gonna play with the normal mode. Show everybody what that entails. Uh, so we can't play the basic tutorial. I actually already did that. I did a real quick test playthrough and, and did the the tutorial. Most stuff is the same as it was before. There are a few differences, and we'll talk about that as we play. Uh, but we're not gonna be doing the tutorial here in this series we're just going to hop right into doing jobs uh, but some of the the differences that we notice besides the the big change which you're going to see here as soon as we load up which is that your garage is much different and you'll notice that it is loading much quicker than the previous game yeah a lot quicker now a part of that might be because we're on the ps5 true so you could have a very different experience on the ps4 or the ps4 pro yeah this is one of the biggest changes here is you don't just load into inside your garage, you load outside. You know, like cars driving by, you can walk around out here. Now, I'm not entirely sure what all you can do. If all this is just, like, cosmetic. Or if, like, there's some features that are located outside. I'm thinking there are. Because... That reminds me of Final Fantasy. <laughs> this garage in particular. That one Final Fantasy game where you, like, drive around and stuff? Yeah. I didn't actually play that. But Jinx did, and we got like a loud train going by right now in real life. We'll just I pretend that it's Sandy. going by in the <laughs> in the game. Yeah, this this here, I think I saw the, a video about this in the tutorial videos. So I think you might have to come out here for a few things. And clean shit up. So one of the things I did right when I started was I changed up the sensitivity for uh, control from 100% to 180% because good god you moved like this <laughs> and we had that you know same situation in the, the previous game where you just had to change it it does make it easier targeting parts I suppose when you're you know the sensitivity is a bit lower but yeah it's just it's just too low uh, for me so I, I suggest changing it unless you like it like that 
Uh, so this is the uh, the shop, guys. Could certainly use a lot of work. Yeah, it's a mess. Yeah, just like the previous game, we got to get money and experience and stuff to upgrade our shop. We do that through the, the toolboxes. Except for now, there's like three different upgrade uh, kind of trees. So you have, before, you had this, all the upgrades were in this one tree, I think. And now this is just for upgrading your character and their abilities. So you, know, you can screw faster, <laughs> move faster, basically do stuff faster. And then over here you got two different sections. And it looks like this only co okay, so this costs the skill points while well, this costs money. Interesting. So these are your garage expansions. So a lot that we can add on to the shop that we don't currently have. And then here's the different tools that will allow us to do different jobs. That's interesting. It also uh, shows you why you can't get these. Because you got to have that, gar that particular garage expansion first. Okay. So yeah, some of these things you can't get until you got another ones. So yeah, just like in the previous game, we've got to like build up our shop. Uh, but it does look a lot trashier this time, I've noticed. Well, we're in the south. <laughs> Are we? Seems like we're in the west. Seems like Arizona or New Mexico. Yeah, I guess it's southwest. Okay, so this is a computer for ordering stuff. A computer. I was thinking we did our jobs through there, but I forgot we do that through the phone. Now, pressing triangle, if you're just hopping into the game, they'll t teach you all this in the tutorial. So I won't go too much into talking about how to do things. But this menu is really, really important. Kind of gives you access to just about everything. And we got a shopping list right here as well. We got to make use of this from the beginning this time. I think it took us a while to figure out the, sh the uh, shopping list before. So we have, what, two job choices? So this one, it looks like we don't really know much about it. We're going to change the oil, but there's going to be other tasks as well. And that's our story mission. I guess it looks like they're both story missions. Okay, and then we have a timed one, and that doesn't tell us anything about it. Let's go into this one. I want to get into the question mark. I think that timed one might just, it cycles to a different job after the timer runs down. Yeah, yep. Uh, that's what it did in the last one. And so yeah, I assume it would do that in like this one as well. Random one. Well, remember you can just decline the order too, and they'll throw a different one up there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and start with this one, guys. Changing the whale. The Luxor Baron. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I don't know if we're going to have to clean this up. Because I think that's a new mechanic. It's cleaning stuff, cleaning the car up. All right. Well, let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess we can go ahead and start with the examination mode. And see what's going on here. So we're going to examine the wheels here. Now, actually, before we do this, let's take a look... Well, I'm not sure how you get out of this. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at the car status first. It's kind of give us all the stats on here. And it tells you where you can find the car as well. Let me look at all the different conditions with the car. Okay, so this is a little bit different than, than the previous game. Okay, and here's the issues to fix. This is what I was looking for. Oh, it needs all the new stuff. But yeah, the menu is a little bit different. He said, hi, I was just passing by and I noticed your repair shop. It's good that somebody took care of that old ruined pet petrol station. The car that I'm coming with today is quite a recent purchase. It was used on a daily basis. The condition is rather okay. It'd be good to check the oil level and tires. That should be no problem for you. If you manage, then perhaps this won't be our last meeting. See you. Okay, so those are all the things I want us to check. The tires, the filters, the fuel pump, and the, the brake pads. You know, let's go ahead and bring this inside, actually. We'll start this inside. So we're going to move the car. There's no room inside. To car lift A. Oh, interesting. So we can place at our garage from here as well, and also in the parking. It's my car now. I'm snatching it. So yeah, let's move us right inside here. Car. So yeah, let's go and examine everything. All the broken parts <laughs> and stuff. So we know the engines. Like, how is this thing running? I mean, I guess it's really You know, we might dirty. not. I don't I don't know that we have to do the the uh examining. Like examining all the stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure if you have to, but we are getting experience for doing this, so maybe. Might as well. Yeah, and we'll just be kind of figuring this out as we go. At least we have 
the prior knowledge. Okay, yeah, I don't know that we have to examine all this, but we're raking up that experience for doing so. We're learning stuff. Yeah, we don't need to do all this, guys, in order to complete the job. But I'm literally holding X and <laughs> stacking up on the experience, so. We can charge them extra. Yeah, we'll charge them extra for our time. For all the work we did that we didn't need to do. We're standing around eating a donut. Mm-hmm. Smoking a cigarette. Drinking a beer. All that. And yeah, I examined hand. I examined every single part of your car. <laughs> I expect to be paid for that. Yeah, we're just getting experience in doing this. Could you do this before? Yeah. I don't recall just being able to stack so. up experience by looking at stuff. Maybe, though. I remember the game, you know, gave you a lot of experience for much of what you did, but... Oh, we can't, can't examine the car battery. We probably got to test that. That makes sense. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and stack up on some of the experience here early on. I doubt you'd want to do this later with every dang car, but... Yeah. Because, yeah, it takes a little while. That's probably good. Yeah. Suppose we can look at the cooling. And... Windshield washer, reservoir. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that is different. You mess with the fluids a lot more in this game than you did in the previous one. Yeah, I guess cars need fluids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't remember the uh, assessment being anything like this before. I think it was much different, actually, in the previous game. Okay, well, I think that's good, guys. We've examined the car. We already kind of know what we need to do here. Uh, we know we need to change the tires. Really want to just wash the damn thing. I really feel like that's what needs to be done first. I don't even want to work on this damn thing right now. All right. So we're going to go ahead and, and bring the car up. There. We'll keep going. You got to hit it twice. It's like once you're like placing it on there and then the second time you're actually uh, moving it up. And I guess we'll start with the oil change. Yeah, we'll do that first. So let's go ahead and drain the oil. Make sure you drain the oil before <laughs> you take this off. Because otherwise, you you'll leak it all mess. over and make a mess. And it costs money every time you make a mess. What, do you gotta like pay a professional to come clean this place? Or maybe it's like a time is money thing. Like you're spending time to clean yeah. up. And so that's, so, you know, work you could have been doing instead. And then also, you know, when it comes to the oil, you know, you gotta put that, uh, God, I forgot what they use, like that sand stuff. It's kind of like a... Uh... Oh, yeah. Mm hmm I actually Bad worked in the garage stuff. for a little while. I didn't work on the cars, though. I just cleaned up. I was like a kid. The, like, hazardous waste absorbent stuff. Mm-hmm. We use that at work. All right, so I'm looking for the oil filter on this baby. All right, here's the oil filter. The car's so filthy, it was hard to tell where it's at. All right, so let's zoom into it. And then we're going to take that baby off. And then we're gonna to want to get another part, so we'll probably just add it onto the shopping list so we know. Oh, we just added added the engine bay or engine <laughs> block onto the shopping list. We don't want that there. All right, so let's go to the shopping list since we haven't got to look at it yet. See if anything's different. Okay, so yeah, just the notes here. It does look like it's a little bit smoother to work with though, from what I'm seeing here. All right, so we need to get. This part here, oil filter for a V8 engine. So you can like walk over to the computer and, and do it through there. Or I believe you should just be able to do it through here. Did they take your ability to do that? Maybe we don't have that part yet. Wasn't it like a oh, tablet? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we had to do it through the tablet, which we don't have yet. So we do have to walk our butts. You just got a regular old over to the computer. computer. Mm -hmm. That take like floppy disks or some shit. <laughs> I know, right? Maybe this is an older time. Maybe we're playing in the like '90s that. right now. I did too. Though the, I had it after it was like ten years old. Yeah. Because I was poor, so everything I got was like later than everybody else. I think it's the main shop is what we're looking for My here. My parents like garage sales, so anytime they found something like that, they'd they'd get it. Mm -hmm. I had like an old computer from like the 80s, and then one from the 90s. Okay, I'm looking at how to do a search. Where's this? I know there's a search up there, but how do you... Okay, square. There it is. All right, so we're just looking for oil filter. 
All right, so we should be able to find it right in here. V8. It's not the OHV, it's the just the regular old V8. It'll be 15 credits. You can buy more than one as well. Could you do that before? Yeah. I don't recall if you could do it like that. All right, so we got the oil filter. And now we got to figure out how to get back in there and look at it. Sometimes the camera can be like super finicky. Here we go. All right, so it's going to place the oil filter. Put that old one on there and it say, so say I changed it. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, we could have just polished up that old one. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have known any difference. We are so ethical in our shop. All right, so let's go ahead and get the tires taken off. Although I don't know what he was wanting done with them. Let me just take a look here before we get all crazy with things. He wants some of them spinning rims. Okay, we also have to do the air filter, the fuel pump, okay, and the brake pads. Okay, we'll do the tires and the brake pads first then. Or second, I suppose, if you want to be technical. Yeah, let's get all this taken off. Remember, with the upgrade, you can make this process a lot faster. Yeah, because the screwing is slow. Yeah, way too damn slow. So we need the brake pad, which is right there. So we'll have to take the calipers off first. Yeah, but last time I played this game, you know, we were in like a high level character. Everything was just like flying yeah, off there. Yeah, super smooth. Alright, so we're just going to take everything off at the same time, guys. Although... <laughs> oh, it's oh, like a stuck. rusty one. Okay. Oh, this is something I'm new. Uh-huh. On that rusty one? Get it loosened? I like that. <laughs> Jinx likes spraying that. We gotta put it all over our door because our door has issues. Or I guess it's the lock. Well, I guess it can't let anybody else in if it doesn't want to let us in either. So are we changing the tires out? Or do we need to look to see if they need to be changed? It looks like everything sure we're taking off needs to be changed here. Alright, so what I was thinking is that we can get this going while we work on the next one. So we're gonna get this separated. So yeah, well that separates a tire for us. We can work on this tire here. Try and be like a little bit more efficient. And once we're done with this, we'll go and put another tire over there. Now with the balancing, the balancing is a little bit different. Okay, so there's no brakes on here because it's a front wheel drive. So you don't have to mess with the, the brake pads here. It's like, what do you mean all the wheels ain't got brakes? <laughs> Looks like it's the left side of the car, the driver's side, that's got all the rusty bolts here. I mean, having an all-wheel drive car is a pain in the fucking ass when you have to get your tires fixed. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does make it more difficult. Like, is that like actually a thing everywhere where they only will replace all of your tires regardless of the age if you have to replace one tire? No, that's some giant rip you off. So we gotta buy all new parts to this, don't we? Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to buy all new parts. Okay, so let's go in the store and just get four of of these these tire parts here. Which I believe we should be able to just add them into our list from here so we know which tire we need to get. Or you used to be able to do that, I think. I think once you separate them, because if you go to the other ones, you can add it to the shopping list. Okay, that's what we want to do. So we want to add this tire to the shopping list with this rim. I believe we're replacing both parts. I assumed. And then the brake pads. Hmm. Are we replacing the rim, though? Oh, I don't think we're replacing the rim. I think it's just the tires. Yeah, the tires are at 17%. But yeah, if we were replacing the rim, then why aren't we replacing the cylinder? And yeah, we might not be replacing the rims, guys. Let's just take a look here. This is one of the more difficult parts of the game sometimes is trying to figure out exactly what it is that you're supposed to be replacing. Yeah, I think it's just tires. Yeah, probably just the tire. I don't think we're gonna replace the little rim, guys. But we do need to replace the brake pads. Uh, did we get everything on that list? Let's double check real quick. And we could take this off of the shopping list. I don't know if it lets you. Nah, we just added an extra one. Just add more. All right, so let's go and take a look at our shopping list. 
Okay, so we want to remove the rims. Kind of threw me off a little bit because the list goes this way. Yeah, I was like, what? All right, so yeah, we just want to delete that one. All right, so that's all we're looking for, the standard tire and the brake tire and the brake pads. And how do you go back in the computer? It's a triangle. All the buttons are different, guys. All right, so put some race tires on his car. I just want standard tires. All right, so the shopping list is displayed by pressing the options. Okay, so that's the tire we're looking for. Okay, so we got standard tire and standard tire B. I think we'll just get him the standard tire. So I think this is right. 215, 75, R15. Could be wrong, so we're just going to get one of these guys for right now. And just make sure that it, it goes on the car all right. And we don't have any issues with it. So we're just going to get the standard tire. And then we'll go... Uh, slap it on the rim. Yeah. Get slapped on, on the rim. And we're just putting the same rim on there with some brand new tires here. So shiny. Mm-hmm. Look nice. Got some new tread on there. And you can tell the difference. I remember when our tread was getting super low, we were just like sliding all over the damn road. Yeah. And now our tread is great, but we keep running shit over because our shitty neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Because our vehicle keeps getting messed up. Uh, okay. So this is one of the mini games, guys. I didn't realize you had to press X on it. But yeah, this is one of the mini games that they added. I don't know how much the mini games actually add to, to the game overall, honestly. So we're going to place it onto this one first. I guess it keeps you doing stuff. I suppose so. It is nice to just kind of go put it over there and then walk away and go do something else. We didn't get the brake pads. Yeah, we should have got those brake pads. Whoopsie. All right, so those are not going to be in here. Those will likely be probably in the main shop, mm. right? Yeah, we'll look in here, guys. So let's do a search. We'll just search pad. Hopefully it'll come in there. Uh, yeah, brake pad. All right, so we're going to buy four of those. Although we didn't need four, yeah. we only need two. We'll end up using them. But we'll use them at some point, so that's fine. All right, so let's go and get all this mounted, make sure that it works out, and we get credit for doing it before we get all crazy and do everything else. All right, so let's get the brake pad put on there with the caliber. That yucky old caliber. Mm-hmm. And... Okay. And then get the tire placed on there. Whoa. And we want our new tire, 74% because of that crappy rim. Let's uh, take a look and see if we got credit for it. That we did. All right, excellent. So let's go and do the rest of the tires. So even just a little thing takes forever, we, guys. Yeah, we gotta buy more tires. Yeah, we'll have to buy the more tires. You're right. Uh, let's go and do that now then, while that's happening. So at least we know we got the right tires. And I keep trying to press circle to exit here. Because that makes sense. That's what every other game is, but it's triangle. So we need three of these babies, 15s. 215 and 75. There we go, beautiful. And we're so broke. I mean, that's more money than we got, but like in real I, life. I hope but... this person pays us. Mm hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and install first these new tires here. So that way we can get one balancing while the other one's being taken off. Try and be as efficient as possible. Because it looks like it's going to be the whole damn video. <laughs> just us doing this one mission. Yeah, just doing this one mission. It does take a while. A job, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but I'm not sure how much this adds to it. I guess before when it was balancing, you're just kind of standing there. And that's not the only mini game. There's actually quite a few of them from what I've seen. Uh, so we want to install. install first. Yeah, we'll install first. I think we only got one more left balance. to do after this. Yep, and we'll balance this one. Yeah, we'll get all the tires done, guys. And then let's go and separate the last one. There we go, beautiful. All right, so let's get this last one here balanced. I guess it's not the last one. We have one more to do. Oh, that was an easy one. 
Maybe you're getting better. <laughs> uh, so let's take that. Up oh, and let's go ahead and do this first. Install this one. And our new tire. We should charge the person for selling their old tires. That's the way they do it in real life. They only charge you for like everything. Like, oh, I'm gonna charge you for tire disposal even though we're gonna sell them. Yeah. That's how it is though. The mechanics, man. Nickel and dime, yeah. Mm-hmm. Every once in a while you get like a good mechanic though. Oh, we got a trophy already, Vulcanizer. Okay. All right, so it's gonna get the brakes mounted again. The brake pad and our uh, calipers. But yeah, what I really enjoyed about this game is it's, when we played it the, the first time, is it's like such a relaxing game. Like some people are like, why would you want to play this? Like it's just like you're doing work. But yeah, but it's chill. Yeah, it's really chill. I believe the uh, soundtrack could get annoying after a while. So you get your own music going on your phone or whatever. And then you're just chilling out. Just putting some cars together, fixing some cars. This is just a really chill game. Learning a thing or two. And also, yeah, we learned a few things, which it's funny, since that series came out, we've gotten dozens of comments on those videos asking, you know, that one question I think everybody thinks when they think of these type of simulator games is, is will this you know, help me learn cars in real life. <laughs> Can I be a real mechanic after this? Can I fix my own car after playing this game? And what I always tell people is, is no. It's, <laughs> it's not gonna make you a mechanic in real life. Uh, it's not gonna teach you how to actually fix cars. But one thing it did teach us is parts. Like what the parts look like and where they are. Mm -hmm. We've worked on our car a couple times, you know, since we had played the game. And I look inside of it and I actually know what the parts are. Like, oh shit, that stuff looks familiar. Yeah. And so that's what I'll say that it does teach you. Uh, and I guess it helps you with certain things like maybe twinging the oil or something. But I mean, it's going to be a very different experience if you're doing it on your own. Uh, are we done with everything except for the, the fuel pump? Fuel pump and the air, air filter. Air filter. Okay. I think the filter, we got to bring the car down. So we'll do that now and pop the hood. We haven't popped the hood yet. All right, so the air filter's right here on top. The fuel pump, do we have to take that off from, with the car up? It's over down here. The fuel pump? Yeah, or yeah, can you take it off like this? Yeah, have to fuel pump. Again, camera's always kind of finicky with this one. Maybe not. Oh, we got it. Okay. But you can only, uh, accessible for under the car on the lift. That's the fuel tank. So yeah, you have to have it lifted up to take the fuel tank off. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so let's gonna get this air filter taken off. And then we'll go to the store and get these purchased. Just one screw. Mm-hmm, that's a round air filter. All right, so again, we're gonna do this the way I've, I just typically find this to be the easiest way. Um, oops, we don't wanna do it that way. I'm trying to, uh, access the shopping list, take the stuff off that we already did. Just kind of keep our shopping list organized. So and then yeah, just... Unnecessary purchases. Exactly. And yeah, just add it on to it from here. This is, you have different parts. I guess they only, I, there might only be one fuel pump, but we'll put it on there anyway. Because we forget things. So we'll hop in here and forget what the hell we came in here to purchase in the first place. Air filter. All right, so we know we're getting the round air filter, uh, but we need the two carb ones specifically. Um, not seeing it, are you? No. It should be in here. Well, this one's round, but it doesn't say two carb. Round air filter. It doesn't say round air filter. You know what? These are on alphabetical yeah, order, so that's what the problem all is. They're all air filter something. Yep, so that's what we need to do. We need to do a search. So we'll search specifically for air. And that should help us find it. Oh, these are all yeah. air filters. Okay, there it is, guys. All right, so we just want that one. And 
the other thing we needed was fuel pump, which I don't know where that is either. It is always easier to search. So yeah, we'll just do that. Look up fuel. And fuel pump. there it is, fuel pump. Now there are multiple fuel pumps. Okay, but we know we need that one since we have our handy dandy list here. All right, excellent. So let's get these placed and then I think we're done with our car here. I'm not we mistaken. Can get some money. And then we can get some money, yeah. So if you didn't watch the last series, then you might not know, although you probably know by this point in the video, that Jinx and I don't know a whole lot about cars. <laughs> What gave that away? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, uh, I grew up in the city first of all, so having a car wasn't really all that important in the city. And might have to access it from here. And then I, I never had a father. I was raised kind of by my mother, I suppose. She wasn't really around, but had some stepdads, a couple of them. But yeah, I never really had anybody kind of teach me about uh, cars, unfortunately. And I just never really got into them, and frankly, like, nobody was into cars where I was from, because I, I, as again, I grew up in the inner city. And so everybody just took the bus. Nobody expected to have a car when they grew up. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Like, ever? Uh, I don't know, about ever, but... It just wasn't a big thing, like cars, because, you know, everybody took the bus or walked the everywhere. South, you better have a car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you want to get the ladies. I guess in the country, period. All right, so you guys can see it's green all the way down. I think we're we're finished here. Uh, so we just go into orders now, maybe, or maybe we have to go into car status. Just trying to find out how we we close the order. Hmm. I think we're done. Repair what parts of minimum condition. Oh, we need to put more oil in it. Oh, we never put oil in it. Psh, no wonder. So that's the one mission thing we haven't done here, which, you know, that wouldn't be revealed here, but you can kind of see on the left there, it does say change oil. So yeah, we haven't done that yet. I think it's somewhere, somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off the plug and get this baby filled up. All right. And we don't want to overflow it. Luckily the game tells you when it's about to be Overflowed by I think when it just goes down like that, right? What if I just want oh, to pour it overflowed it pour oil everywhere? That's how we want to do we want to make a mess jinx All right, so I think well, we might be able done to now. commit some insurance fraud Just burn the place down and build a new <laughs> All right, so we changed the oil, but there's still other tasks that we haven't completed yet. Then what are the other... Oh, 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 okay, I see. You can move down the issues and see them. So all right. they do want us to change all the fluids. They do want all the fluids changed. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, well, now we know when we're doing these missions that we can see everything that we have to do by moving through these. Okay, so that's a little bit different. Again, the, the UI is probably the biggest change from this game to the last. Most of everything else is kind of the same. Uh, one of the other differences, though is other than the fact that you now change fluids is you also have to empty the fluids but i'm not sure how to do that i showed you in the tutorial we got the drain tool out there we go what you i don't know yeah i don't know if it's necessary to drain it oh yeah i guess there wasn't much it did say to drain the old fluid Okay, so that's what we're doing. I'm just trying to figure out how to get back into the Friggin pour buttons, mode. Man. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna fill this baby up. Looks nice. Mm-hmm. Give like X-ray vision. Yep. So you can see just how much you're putting in there. Whoa, no! <laughs> I'm gonna fill them all the way up to the top. <laughs> you don't know. He might have to drive through an area with lots of bugs. I bet he does. Be cleaning off his windshield. Out here in this desert. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, what were the other fluids we had to fill? Power steering, maybe? Maybe. Wait, we'll just do it We'll all. just do it anyway. Though, do we want to empty it? See, I don't know if this is necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> I feel like, feel well, like we there should. There might not be any fluid in there. There's a lot. Oh, okay. And I just kind of want to use that, that tool. The sucker thing? I just want to suck it out. Looks like a Swedish penis pump to me. But. 
<laughs> That's its additional use. It's <laughs> the other thing you can use it for. So it looks like we're still stuck in the tool mode. I wonder if there's a way to get out of it without completely exiting. We got like a helicopter or something going overhead. Jesus Christ. All right, we got it at max. I like adding the fluid. Yeah, I like the glug 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 sound. Glug glug glug. I'm pretty sure there's one more fluid I'm supposed to do, guys. Uh, brake, the brake fluid. And it does say drain the old fluid, by the way, so we do need to do that. Hmm. I don't know what the brake fluid is. Yeah, me either. I'm just gonna look around and see if we can't figure it out. Probably that, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm assuming it's that. Alright, so let's go ahead and drain this baby. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. Okay. Okay, and so now we're still in the tool mode. We actually have to to exit it. That's what I wasn't doing before. There we go. We'll get it all figured out, guys. So now there's going to be a lot of this, isn't there? Yeah. Because before you just had to do the oil. I don't know how high I should put it, man. Oh. All the way. <laughs> Spilled it everywhere. This is not safe. All right, so I want to say now we're done. Uh, we said that like three times. <laughs> this time, guys, for I reals, think we're done. Reals. And now we can finish the order. And we're going to get a total payout of 2,106 credits. I don't know how much the uh, job cost us, but seems like we didn't make a ton of money on that one. But no. We got our first job done. That's what's important. And we do have a lot more credits than we did have before. We got 5,015, so I guess we made some money from that. And it looks like we also leveled up. So we're going to go into the toolbox. Remember, these ones all cost money. And I, I suppose that's what you'd want to spend your money on besides, you know, having to get parts for the, the missions. It's more tools so you can do more stuff. Yeah. Ooh, a car wash. That's how you clean his yes. car off. Yes. Builds a car wash near your garage, allows you to clean your car. I don't know if you actually do that for other people's cars, though. Then we got the salvaging, which adds that container. And I think that might be the container that's already back there. At the very least, it's like the similar container, like a ship bill shipping container, allowing us to strip tools uh, and salvage the tools. Got a paint shop. These are all pretty expensive. Garage expansion, which I think gets rid of that bus on the other <laughs> side and all that trash. Jeez, ten thousand dollars to get rid of that, huh? Uh, the dyno. Which I'm, pre I'm pretty sure they had that in a previous game. Then we got a second lifter, so we work on multiple multiple vehicles at the same time. And as many of these do require different upgrades, as you can see here. Obviously, the paint shop upgrades would require the paint shop. Okay, and to get the warehouse, you have to have the uh, the additional lifter the expansion. And then there's a test path. Extend your services by wheel alignment and headlight calibration, which also has mini games to it. We gotta calibrate headlights. Mm -hmm, all that stuff. Is so that I, a thing? <laughs> I feel like we should get the tablet, so we don't have to keep going back to the computer. That'd be really helpful. So I think that's what we're gonna start with for our money. Adds tire tread tester to your additional tools. Allows to check the condition of tires. Battery charger. And that's just helpful. Give them a good kick. That's a all welder. they need. Yep, good kick, Jinx. We're going to get the tablet, guys. Because I think that would make our life a lot easier. Now, as for our upgrade points, we can either move faster by 2%. We can fix parts from group 1. Increased chance of instant repair by 2%. Do we have the ability to repair stuff? I don't think we have that, do we? And if we do, we need to find that. Mm, I don't think so. It's not an upgrade. So yeah, maybe we do have the repair the repair bench. I gotta go look for that, guys. Because yeah, that would uh, be helpful to have. So yeah, we can do that. Uh, we have fast hands, increased screwing speed by 10%. I like that. You like fast screwing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is faster mounting, so you can get to the screwing quicker essentially. Uh, we don't need any of that. You don't need faster mounting. 5% uh, discount on the parts you buy, so that would save you a lot of money. And this cuts time to examine a part by 0 0.05 seconds. I kind of feel like saving money would be the most helpful for us right now. Yeah, because we are so poor. Yeah, so you know what? Let's start with that, guys. And they get more expensive as you go. Interesting. 
Okay. So yeah, we'll just do this one for now, and then next we'll probably go for one of these things, kind of speed up our work here. So we need to find the workbench. Is that over the here somewhere? Bench. Yeah, the repair bench, whatever it's called. Because it looks like we have it. It's all toolboxes. But I'm not seeing anywhere to repair stuff. Maybe it's on the other side of the box. Maybe it's just part of the expansion. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe when we expand it, we just automatically get that workbench. Because I'm not seeing it anywhere. Yeah, me either. Okay, so yeah, I don't think we have the, the tool bench right now. We do have the interior detailing toolkit. Did you document. did you start the game with that before? I don't think you did. I think you had to unlock that. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, guys. I was thinking right here would be where you'd do it. It seems like the place you'd work on your, your parts. But yeah, this is clearly not it because there's nothing to click on. Okay, so I guess we don't have it. I think we'll get it when we expand the, the shop. In which case, there's no point on getting those upgrades. All right, so let's go ahead and get on our phone and get another uh, job going. Now, obviously, we're not gonna have time to finish this, but what's nice about this game is that we get to save it at any time. Uh, so we can go ahead and do this blue mission, which they, they say they're both story orders, I think. Oh, no, 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 okay, I see. The other areas are kind of lined out. Okay, so this is the normal order. And this is the story order. This is what's going to advance the story along. Got it. So I feel like we should do that one first. The story missions. Although I think we're about to do the same thing that we did. And on last car, just, it's a nicer car. Now uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the car status. And see what they want us to do here. We won't name all that, or read all that. All the things. It does look like this is going to be oh, a geez. lot more in-depth mission here. But yeah. You look like a promising mechanic. My yeah. buddy doesn't yeah, there's seem to have any problems. Lots more to do here, guys. A few of the things we did in the last one, like the brake pads, most of it's all new. And, interestingly enough, this one is going to require us to discover some broken parts here, which can be a real hassle sometimes. Oh, yeah, there was a couple times where we could not find the parts. We had a lot of difficulty. We also there's changed the oil. In the camshaft. And we're changing all the fluids. Okay, so a lot of work to do on this one, guys. I was going to start by getting it inside. Onto the car lift. And I guess we'd want to work on some stuff we haven't done yet. Though we should probably start with examining the car, because we still don't know which parts we're going to have to change out here. So we're just going to examine the engine. I could see it being beneficial to get that uh, the examining skill mm -hmm. which examine through here quicker because yeah this could take a while we're looking for four parts guys so four parts that are going to be basically red which we might have just found we can see one right there but i think mm -hmm. that's one that's in the mission but yeah we're, we're looking for the four parts oh those other ones that are that, unidentified mm -hmm, that are unidentified yep i don't know if there's any more efficient way of doing this besides just doing this now, some of the stuff we're not going to be able to look at without putting the car up. But yeah, I guess we'll just uh, just go through them and see if we can't find them. Just look at everything. Uh-huh. Yeah, I pr I'm pretty sure this was done a lot differently last time. Yeah. I want to say you could maybe, maybe you could see the colors already and you just had to find the red. Maybe. Yeah, I can't recall. It's It's been a couple years, guys, so... Yeah, I don't remember a whole mm -hmm. lot either. Yeah, I don't really remember a ton about the series. Not in detail, anyway. Yeah, we're old, so... Or older. Whenever I say that, then the actual old folks be like, You ain't old. If you're curious, we're in our 30s, mid-30s. Oh, man, I just had a birthday Jinx just had month. a birthday. So that's why I couldn't say we're a certain age, because she's now technically older than me. Or at least For another two months. months. Mm-hmm. I'm 34. I like to use that opportunity to be the boss, bitch. <laughs> I'm 34 and Jinx is 35. Like I'm bigger than you. <laughs> oh, come on. I guess we'll do this first. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is the most efficient way, guys, but we are getting a crap ton of this experience again, and uh, I really feel like we do need to level, level up a bit. And the next level up might be the one that makes us do this whole process quicker. I highly doubt it's the exhaust. And we can see many parts here. 
that are red, but I want to say that those were already on the list. Again, I could be wrong here. We'll look at the suspension here. And then once we've done this, we'll see if we've identified any of those four parts that need to be changed. I'm just like, what did they do to this poor little car? All right, so let's go into normal mode. We'll go to car status and see if we can't find, have we found anything? Looks like we did not. We didn't find a single one of the parts. Nice. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something that we wouldn't discover until we started like opening it up and messing with stuff. Yeah, that's what I would think. All right, so let's see what we can do that we haven't done yet for this first episode, because we could just go ahead and start with the fluids. But we'll do those last, so that'll be a next episode. And these bushings are what we saw, the red that we saw on the car. So we know the, where those are at, the rubber bushings that need to get changed out. Okay, so we got to switch out cam gears and camshafts. Okay, I see. We're going to have to take, like take this everything. engine apart. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to take this all apart here. I don't think we need to take the engine out to do this, though. I think we can do it from in here. Could be wrong. But yeah, I think we can do it all through here. So I may be misremembering, but we're going to try just taking this all apart here, guys. And <laughs> we'll see if it's inside there. I want to say it is. We'll do it in true, true Praetorian fashion. Just take it all apart. We'll just take it all apart and we'll figure it Until out. Until we find the thing we need. Yeah. So let's go and take all the quails off so we can take the engine head off. And yeah, I want to say it's in here. Now I'm wishing we did have the, the screw faster. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of screws in this part. I want to say it's in here somewhere. There it is. All right. All right, so can we... Now from here, do the examination mode and examine the rest of the engine. I don't even know if we need to. It looks like that's the camshaft right there. The the orange one. Okay. So we need to take that off. And what was the other thing we needed to do? I know something mm -hmm. cam something, something here. Something cam. cam. The cam gear. gear. Okay. So yeah, let's go and start taking this part. At least we know we're, t we're doing the right thing. So we got to take these caps off. Each one has two screws. But yeah, all the sounds I find quite satisfying. All the little screw sounds, little tool sounds. I what? like them too. Mm-hmm. Do like, some ASMR mechanicing. I wouldn't be surprised if there is some of that on YouTube and everything else on YouTube. I guess it's very clear to see that that's the, the messed up camshaft because it's all rusty and and that's what the game uses in the easy mode i think if you're playing the harder difficulty you don't have that like everything's not all rusty just because it's old uh, but that's the way the game kind of shows you that something needs to be changed if it's rusty like really rusty like this it's almost a guarantee that you'll have to you have to change it out so we could have probably just peeked in here and saw that this was was the part so you know what? i don't think we needed to remove the other camshaft did we um, that one doesn't look messed up. I was just thinking that we might have to... Hmm, we forgot something. Oh, I bet we have to take this off here. Yep. Yeah, taking this whole thing apart is quite the, the hassle. Yeah, I was thinking that uh, we'd have to take these off to get the next part, the cam gear. Okay, you just but maybe it it's out. in the timing cover. I hope you're very organized with your Ziploc baggies. There's the cam gear... <laughs> B. I'm not seeing one that's particularly rusty, though. Let's see. Okay, it's, not, it's just plain old cam gear. So it's not either of those, right? Um, yeah, it's a 75%. No. That's 81%. So it's not either of those. What's on the other side? As I was about to go over and check. I'm not seeing anything over there, but... Kind of hard to tell. Maybe this timing cover? We're gonna take it off, guys, if we can. Oh, there's something down here that's gotta get taken off. Oh, you know what? We do have to take off this serpentine stuff. I saw that on here. Let's just take a look. Serpentine belt A also mm -hmm. needs to be changed. And the spark plugs. So yeah, we're getting into the engine very early here. I remember in the, the previous game, it took a little while before you got into engine work. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta take off the roller first. Yeah, I remember it felt like we were, I think I complained about that actually, it felt like we were doing nothing but like changing the oil and tires for the first three videos or something like that. I guess that's how mechanics feel though. 
Just doing the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we are, breaking the engine apart. Episode one. Oh yeah, there's some rusty stuff in here, my friends. <laughs> Ew. But we're not. That's the cam to... gear. Ah, okay, so we that's what we needed. To replace that. So we did have to take this off, but I don't know that we had to take that side off. I don't think so. Everything looks pretty good over there, honestly. Yeah. We'll just leave it off for now, guys. It's <laughs> fine. I don't want to take something off. I might have to put back on. All right, so let's take the belt tensioner off first. And yeah, we definitely won't be able to finish this mission here, guys. So essentially, we're going to end it after I get all these parts off, the cam gear. And then we're going to see if we have to place that other really rusty roller over here. I don't remember if I saw any rollers here. Idler roller A. Watch that be the one. I think so. It's pretty rusty, guys. Yep, that's the one. Ew. All right. So we got it. I'm surprised you didn't need the WD-40 for that one. To get that one off, yeah. Right, we'll just look in our, our inventory here, guys, figure out exactly what it is that we have and don't have. So we have the ignition coil that needs to be changed out, of course. Got that. We don't have the spark plug yet. Yeah, we haven't even messed with those. And the thing I was looking for, because we have multiple serpentine belts. We do have A, so I know we needed that. And then we had that belt tensioner that we needed, and there's one other thing in here I was looking for. Maybe not. Looks like we got everything, guys. All right, so all we need is the spark plug now, which I think is in here, right? I think so. The intake manifold? I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> Sometimes the only way <laughs> to figure things out in this game is just start taking stuff apart. It's kind of scary. Did you think about in real life, like, man, if I was yeah. taking this person's car apart, well, that's like, not good. Will I be able to put it back together? <laughs> yeah. Luckily, putting things together is really not that difficult in this game. Um, the difficulty comes out of, an, and by the way, that was not where that was at. <laughs> I think it's underneath all this crap. Oh, wait, no, no. Here it is. Here's a fuel rail. Oh, that's not what we need either. Yeah, we might have to take all this crap off. So we still haven't gotten to that camshaft. Yeah, we haven't gotten the camshaft yet either. Okay, so we can see that we have to take these fuel rails out. But yeah, like, in this game, I find the most difficult part is sometimes identifying what needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. And figuring out how to get to that thing. But outside of that, oh, you do have to take all this off. All right, so it's good I didn't put it back on. I knew that would be the case. I put it all back on, and then that's take it right back off. You know, it's not like real life where, you know, you got parts all over the place and you're going to lose things and have no idea how to put it back together. It's all trial and error. Mounting in this game is fairly easy. Which, it's a good thing I did take all those parts off of the camshaft because it looks like we got to take both of them to get to the spark plugs. I think you needed to take those to get the spark plugs. You know, we might have just been able to reach down there and grab them. I don't know. <laughs> So there's only one that's actually broken, and it's that one. Because we don't see the... Well, you know what? Hmm. It was only one, right? I think it just said one spark plug. Oh, nope, two spark plugs. Okay, so there's two spark plugs that are broken. And I think that that's just the ones that are going to be identified, because we might need a different tool to test the spark plugs. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, like an electrical tool. Yeah, so these ones aren't showing us, so I think those are, you know, those two are fine. So I believe that's everything, right? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, so. oops, that's the wrong button. I believe that's everything outside of the, the stuff for the, you know, under the car. Yeah, I, I want to say we got everything, guys. So let's go ahead and make our list. And then we'd probably do all the shopping next episode. All right, so we want to, to delete all these from the list, which I guess you can just hold it to clear it. Go into our inventory and get these all marked on here so we know exactly what we need to get. So we need two spark plugs, the camshaft. I thought that was duct tape up there. I was like, we need to get like 16 We're gonna need a of lot that. of that duct tape, yeah. Some crazy glue. The idle roller A. Another way to do this would be to sort it based on the, uh, uh, you know, condition. 
but I haven't done that yet, so we should have done that from the beginning. So we need to replace all of these. And an ignition coil, right? I believe that was one of the things that needed to be. I think so. Mm hmm I think that's everything. I think all the rest of this is from the previous car. So I, I think we got everything, guys. Well, if not, they'll let us know. Mm-hmm. When they don't give us any money for all that work we did. <laughs> yeah. Well, as soon as you try and put on a part that's really broken, you're probably going to notice that. So yeah, we can see everything that we need to get here. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to get all that into our inventory in between videos so you guys don't have to watch the shopping part. I'm going to try and cut out a little bit of the shopping for this one just because it's kind of boring. You know, it's mostly searching, you know, using the search to find the thing that you need and then and then getting a purchase and then doing the same thing with the next part. And so if we have the opportunity to, like, you know, we're at the end of the episode and we need to do shopping, then I will do it off camera just because it's kind of time consuming. Uh, but unfortunately, that is going to be the end of this first episode. We got one job done, the yeah. first job, and we took apart an engine, which is something that I don't think we worked on until several videos in on the last series. So that was kind of cool. They kind of really get you into it early on rather than doing these like little missions uh, for a while. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad that they kind of made some changes here. So far, I'm liking the changes they've made. I think the... Yeah. I think the garage is a lot cooler. Yeah, everything looks a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. More detail. Yeah, that is what you expect from a sequel. I uh, expect, you know, changes like that. Not got to be groundbreaking uh, changes, but if I want to pay an extra $30 for the game, I expect it to be a, at least a slightly different game in some ways and have some improvements. Uh, so yeah, so far I'm, I'm liking it, though it is a very similar to the previous game. Uh, if you're happy with that game, you probably don't need to purchase this one here so far from what I'm seeing, but we're still in the early part, so I don't know. Maybe there'll be enough to justify buying uh, the new game, uh, but it is only 30 bucks, so it's not really too bad, honestly, uh, for a game that you could play for hundreds of hours. I know people do. I want to play this game for a long time, and there's a lot to it, and we'll be jumping into all that as we progress in the series, uh, but this is all we're going to be doing for the first episode. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. If you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for the next episode, go check out the front page of our channel. We have 3,000 something videos, all sorted by genre, so you should be able to find something to watch. Uh, with these simulator games, uh, you know, obviously we played the, the previous Car Mechanic Simulator when that came to PS4, uh, which I say previous because that's the only one that was on console. I know they do have multiple ones for the PC. Uh, but we also have played quite a few other simulator games, from a uh, farming simulator uh, to... What are some of those simulator games we played? There's a mm -hmm. lot of them. Yeah, a lot of farming. Uh, the that one you play, House Flipper. Yeah, the House Flipper. We played the House Flipper. I'm medieval trying to remember. Medieval Dynasty. Yeah, Jinx played some Medieval Dynasty, though. I don't know if that's a simulator per se. Uh, yeah. I guess it is. We also did a series with Hunting Simulator, and then we played Truck Driver, which is kind of a truck driving simulator. Not as good as some of the other ones you'll find on PC, but it was one of the first ones you'd find on on the PlayStation 4. Uh, so a lot of simulator series, if that's what you're into, if you're into other genres, again, we do play quite a few different types of games from role playing to action games, to strategy, survival games. Pretty much if it looks fun, we'll, we'll check it out. So maybe go watch one of our other series while you wait for the next episode. If you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. Find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. You also find a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, find links to all of our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff if you'd like to follow us on there. So I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, which should be out on Friday. That's the plan. Uh, so I do hope to see you on that video. And thanks for watching.